Hello again, and welcome back. I am Jared Case, Curator of Film Exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and the George Eastman Museum. I'm reporting to you today from the Dryden Theater. You can see the screen behind me. And if you hear any construction noise going on in the background, that's normal for now. We are in the midst of the construction of our brand new entrance, which is going to be located right next to the Dryden Theater. And we're working to make sure that everything is completed and safe. And we're looking at the theater and finding out ways that we can make sure to accommodate as many people as possible so that when we do open up later this year, everyone will be safe. Now, it's another Nitrate Picture Show Monday here on Recommendations, and this is where we take a title that is shown at one of the previous five Nitrate Picture Show film festivals, tell you where it's streaming, and let you watch it so you can sort of catch up with uh, where we are. We'll get to that title later, but this is a special week for us because this was the week where we had intended to have the 2020 edition of the festival, but of course, we've had to postpone that to 2021. Now, in, to celebrate sort of the absence of the festival or what we might be missing, we are going to have special programming over the weekend. There's going to be looks back at uh, some of the previous festivals, uh, lots of pictures, maybe some videos. Uh, but the uh, sort of cruel, the crown jewel of this weekend is going to be a webinar that we're putting on Thursday, June 4th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. You can go to the Eastman.org website and sign up for the webinar there. It's going to be about Portrait of Jenny, which this was going to be the title that we opened up our edition with this year, and it's a, a repeat of a film that we showed in our first festival back in 2015. The film itself is, I find, actually quite a wonderful film, but uh, it's positioned very interestingly in 1948 before we got into a lot of widescreen in the 1950s. It does have a shift in aspect ratio towards the end of the film. Also in that last reel, it goes through three different color processes. So it's very unique in that aspect. And we're going to talk about the film itself, about its place in history, and uh, through Spencer, we're going to talk about how we accomplished uh, a simulation of that aspect ratio change towards the end of the film. So that is Thursday, June 4th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, the film that I'm going to recommend that you watch today is actually from last year's festival. It's one that I have a soft spot for, so I'm very happy we were able to find a nitrate print and bring it to the Nitrate Picture Show. It's a film called Dead Reckoning from 1947, a John Cromwell film noir starring Humphrey Bogart and Elizabeth Scott. Humphrey Bogart is coming back from the war and uh, as Rip Murdoch, that's his name, and uh, he has a friend, a pal that he's been in the war with, and that pal is about to receive a, a, a big medal, a large honor uh, for his uh, accomplishments during the war. Uh, unfortunately, this person does not want to be uh, publicized, and he runs away from the train that was taking them to Washington, D.C. So Rip follows him to Florida and gets embroiled in a mystery about what happened in this man's past. And Elizabeth Scott is, of course, the former girlfriend of uh, his army buddy, and uh, they get involved. It's uh, a wonderful film noir. 1947 is the best year for film noir, uh, when you've got Nightmare Alley, you've got Out of the Past, you've got A Double Life. Life. Uh, many of these really great films were coming out that year, and this was towards the beginning of that year. Cromwell uses some really great uh, high key lighting, low key lighting, I guess. Uh, he's highlighting the um, difference between the light and the dark, and the way that he uses it, having Humphrey Bogart in the dark or uh, framed in a doorway or having him split so that half of him is in light and half is in dark. It's very much uh, sort of the private eye kind of film noir that uh, you would expect from Humphrey Bogart, but he's not an actual private eye. He's just sort of taking it upon himself. Elizabeth Scott is wonderful in this. Uh, there's this song that she sings uh, where if you look closely, you can see that the way that the light is shining on her, her her mouth is actually uh, in complete uh, darkness and black, so uh, you don't trust any of the words that are coming out of her mouth. There's another shot that I like later in the film where she's got her back turned to the camera, and as she's telling Humphrey Bogart another lie, uh, she's smoking, and the words come out with the smoke as, as uh, ethereal as they are. So this is a wonderful one from 1947. It is streaming on the Criterion Channel as part of their Columbia Noir series, so you can go there to check it out. Uh, please tune in on Thursday, June 4th for our webinar, and then come on back for some more uh, streaming recommendations. Thanks.